I am so excited for Evil Dead Rise. So I decided to start an Evil Dead review series. So we start off the video, the video, what? So we start off the movie with them driving up to this creepy old cabin. They get to the cabin, almost got hit by a car. And this leads to my first favorite scene of the movie, which is what, it's a very small scene. It's basically just Ash and the girls unpacking and they're just throwing bags at him saying, hey, hey. It's such a little scene, like it doesn't even, it has nothing to do with the movie really. I just really liked the playfulness they were having together. Just get a little drink of my apple juice. Yay. Apple juice. That's what that is. And let me point out the second dude. His name is Scott, I believe. He goes into the cabin, or I think it's the cellar, or somewhere, and he sees these torture tools. And he didn't think, hey, maybe I should let the gang know about this. No? But why is he so mean to the sister? It's probably just some animal. An animal? <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Maybe it is just some animal. Yeah, you're probably right. It's probably just some animal. He's just, he's undeniably mean to her. It's really annoying. And he's just, ugh, ick all around. I wish the other girls would have stepped in and been like, hey, chill, dude, leave her alone. They're just kind of like, uh. Then we come to the scene where we see the sister drawing and then suddenly an evil takes over her and starts drawing something familiar. My second favorite scene would be when Ash enters the cellar, I believe, and the camera pans around to show the audience what he's looking at. I really like that. I just like the visuals of that. Also, side note, Ash is kind of dull in this movie, I noticed. Like, he's just kind of, like, there. Third favorite scene would have to be the book activation, of course. Man sees on has on so far. Ganda. stuff upstairs and they start looking through it they play this recording of some dude reading reading an incantation enunciate enunciate what is his stuff doing there why is there a gun there why are all these things there all of these things should have been alarming red flags to them and they should have been like okay let's leave also the scene where ash's girlfriend's trying to take the box from him and he's literally just sitting there pretending like he's asleep what was that that was such an awkward scene to watch i remember watching and i'm like what is going on like i had no idea that he was pretending to sleep like i didn't get that context at first and then after he was like ah or she was like aha i was like oh, oh okay that was just a really weird scene. I, I didn't like that. The next scene is definitely not a favorite scene of mine, but we gotta discuss it because it is a part of the Evil Dead world. This is when the sister, Cheryl, goes outside and she gets corrupted by the vines. I get what they're trying to do here, like evil's corrupting her, like I understand that, but it's a little uncomfy for me to watch. It's okay, it doesn't really bother my overall thoughts of the movie. Also, she runs back to the house, but she can't get back inside. I'm like, okay, she got out there in the first place, right? So why didn't she take the keys with her or leave the door unlocked at least? Like, um, huh? My fourth favorite scene would be when Cheryl is guessing all of the cards, right? Queen of Spades. Four of hearts, eight of spades, two of spades, jack of diamonds. I like how the audience is distracted by the two girls trying to guess the cards and one of them's getting them completely wrong, but the other girl's like, yeah, you're getting them right. That part was funny to me. And it's a great distraction from Cheryl. So when Cheryl starts talking, you're like, oh, 
wait is she possessed and i didn't think she was going to be possessed like i don't i don't know why but i didn't i didn't expect that i guess i was also very impressed with the practical effects when cheryl gets lifted up and she's talking with her demonic voice and her head's just doing the then we see shelly gets infected after we lock cheryl up in the cellar um shelly gets infected by some thing entering her window just bleh. she's such a nothing character that i feel like they're just like how are we gonna infect her oh just put something through a window get rid of her like okay cool <laughs> throw away characters but this leads me to my fifth favorite scene when shelly scratches up scott <laughs> I hate this guy so I loved when she did that I was like yes destroy this man please he's so icky and that's the only reason why I like that scene so let's move on my sixth favorite scene is the iconic scene where Cheryl is looking out from the cellar just that scene right there where she's looking out die you're not gonna leave me here are you are you ass <laughs> That's such an iconic scene. They use that scene again in the remake. And, and then Shelly chews off her hand. And that's where I'm like, okay, this movie is uh, gory. Straight up just like, what? And then when they chopped up her body. I was caught off guard. Apple juice. My seventh favorite scene would be when Shelly is just sitting at the doorway in her little white nightgown and she's just giggling like oh, oh did you oh. 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 I was like whoa uh ugh. ugh I guess I was pretty caught off guard with the way the demons were acting in this movie because before I saw the Evil Dead franchise I was just so used to demons being like just mean and sinister and these demons are just like oh, like silly and gory and kooky like combining that like the evil sinisterness with the silly kookiness was just whoa and at this point in the movie i think scott would kind of was just like down for the count and i felt really bad for ash like he had to he just lost his sister and his girlfriend in like minutes <laughs> minutes of each other actually and when they start toying with him and making him believe that he got his girlfriend back and his sister that was messed up in that one scene when ash had to chop up linda i know he didn't go through with it and i also want to say i didn't really like how flushed out linda's character was with how important she was to ash we needed a little bit more dialogue, a little bit more time with Linda before all of this started going down, in my opinion, because I kind of forgot her name. Before doing this uh, review, I forgot everyone's name besides Ash. I knew more about Cheryl than I did about Linda. I know Cheryl can draw and she likes to draw. Linda, I knew nothing except that she got a necklace from Ash. So when Ash had to like get rid of Linda or like bury her and stuff like that, I felt nothing. All because of that. Skipping a bit forward, we're skipping past the fight scene with Cheryl and Ash doing his walk through the cellar. Um, I felt like the movie was kind of dragging at this point. My eighth favorite scene is when Ash sticks his hand into the mirror and he finds out it's water. Ah! Ah! I just thought it was funny where he screams. He's like, eh! like <laughs> that. That's it. Just that part because I really liked the way he reacted. Like, he was just like, what? Finally, after the movie dragged on a little bit, Ash finds out how to get rid of the demons after he sees that Scott is smoking up, like, burning. And it's because the book was very close to the fire and catching the flames on it. So Ash tries desperately to get the book back in the fire. And once he does, this comes to my last favorite scene. My ninth favorite scene is when the book hits the fire and all the demons start melting and but Yeah, I just really like the special effects here with the way the bones were melting. Was it the bones and the bones were crushed up and the skin was melting and 
and all those cockroaches were just coming up and just, oh, it was so gross. <laughs> Overall thoughts? This movie was so intense, gory, and silly. I noticed a lot of people say they didn't like this one, and I can totally see why. I see the problems in it. I see the plot holes. I understand. But I still had a great time with it. And I feel like it's because I was kind of caught off guard with the way the demons were acting, just because they're so kooky and crazy and weird. And I love the special effects in here. Seeing all the bodies melt and the way the bones are just cracking up, it just, they did a great job with that. Ash was a little dull in this movie. I do remember him getting better later on, but in this movie he was a little bit boring. And of course it dragged on a little bit towards the end. These are all just nitpicks and I feel like it's still a good movie. You can still have fun with it. The demons are funny and gory. Can't wait to rewatch the second one, which I think I'm gonna do tonight or tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please leave a like and a comment. I would love to interact with you guys. Subscribe if you enjoy this content, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>